So I want to talk today about a question that I have gotten throughout my career as the animal communicator, which is, is this just like being Dr. Doolittle? My name is Ann Angela Webb, also known as the Animal Intuitive. So I think what that brings up for most of us is the idea of someone who's walking down the street and they're just hearing the voices of animals all over the place and they kind of can't stop it. Well, I don't find that to be what it's like to be an animal communicator. And I'm just speaking from my own experience as an animal communicator. I find that when I want to speak with an animal, it's important for me to get into a more grounded and meditative state prior to having a consultation, for instance, so that I can be more centered and be more open to hearing what the animals have to say and understanding what they're feeling and what they're thinking. So if I'm just walking down the street and I have a destination, I'm using a different part of my brain. I'm aware of what's going on around me and alert and I'm thinking about, you know, what I'm headed to do and about the people around me. However, I will say that if I was to just come out of having an in-depth animal communication and then go out in the street for a walk, I might be more likely to pick up things about the animals around me, just, just sensing them. Um, and I can use animal communication at will. For instance, one time I was walking down a trail with my dog and up ahead was a coyote who was about to cross, but the coyote stopped and looked at us. And this was the season when you do have to be a little careful as far as them being protective about their pups. So I stopped and I communicated to the coyote that we were not intending to harm the coyote, any of her family, and that we were going to let her just cross. And so she took that in and then just walked across the trail and went on her way. So there's situations like that where it's actually very handy to be an animal communicator and you don't necessarily, you know, have to be in that real in-depth meditative state for little things like that. But in general, I would say it is not like being a Dr. Doolittle where there's, there's this cacophony of voices, you know, coming at you all the time. Uh, and there's also ethics around animal communication. So as far as talking with animals, it's okay to have like some chit chat or just saying, oh, hi, you know, it's a beautiful coat you have, but I wouldn't just go and begin to have an in-depth discussion with someone's pet without their permission. That's just part of our code of ethics as animal communicators. So I hope you found this interesting. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to put them below. I will respond. And if you get a benefit out of this video, please like, subscribe, share. It really does help and it is appreciated. And you can always reach me directly at Anne with an E at intuitivetouchanimalcare.com or check out my website at intuitivetouchanimalcare.com. Thank you so much and God bless. Listen close. Rub my belly. Rub my belly.